welcome to my channel. So we are going to get right into it. Um, tonight I'm making peanut stew or groundnut stew um, and I'm gonna make it with beef. So uh, get ready, here we go. Okay, so you can see I have all of my ingredients uh, put out here that you can see. So the first ingredient we're going to have our pepper sauce and this is uh, composed of one bell pepper, three cloves of garlic, a little bit of ginger, and two tomatoes and half of an onion all blended together and here we have one pound of stew meat beef and i've also cut these into smaller pieces uh, just so they get done faster and it's easier to cook uh, and then here we have um, the rest of the ingredients so this is one onion and this is what i'm going to be using actually with uh, the beef whenever i am cooking that at first uh, so that will be for that and then we have um, one third cup of grounded peanuts uh, i like to add a little bit of this in my peanut stew and of course this recipe can be adapted uh, and you know made in various ways so this is just really what i like to do and how i like to make it um, and here we have one cup of peanut butter and I really like this brand um, It has no additives in it. So it is literally peanut and peanut oil. So um, I really like that just because it's all natural, doesn't have any additives, no sugar or anything. And I get that from the international market. And here is my ground peanuts. This is also um, the brand that I use for a lot of different things that I make and I also get this from the international market. Um, here's my Cameroonian pepper. Uh, as previously stated in some of my other videos, I use this literally for everything. I, I put this on everything that I make. It makes it a little kind of like smoky flavor um, a bit and I just really like the flavor. And we're gonna be using uh, curry powder, a little bit of smoked Spanish paprika, and uh, two Magi cubes. For the stew and then half of an onion um this is something that i kind of added to this recipe i like to use a lot of onion in a lot of the stews that i make so um, i'm going to be putting that in with the um the stew base once my pepper sauce over there gets uh done and also here we have kale so a lot of recipes for peanut stew or groundnut stew they put spinach in it. I didn't have spinach, so I'm gonna be using uh, kale, and that's gonna be going in last. Um, so any kind of greens that you have that you're gonna be putting into the stew, that always usually goes in afterwards. So here's my ingredients, one last look, and let's get to cooking. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, heated up some palm oil. I love onions, so I actually uh, put some onions in there, the half of the onion that I didn't use for the meat. Um, so that onion is sauteed. Now I'm going to um, pour the pepper sauce I made and going to fry this down uh, until a lot of the liquid is out of it. Okay, so here you can see I've added my stew meat beef. Uh, I've cut it into small chunks so it cooks a lot easier and faster and is more tender. Uh, along with my onions and I've added my curry powder in here with my smoked Spanish paprika, my Cameroonian pepper and just some um, regular salt. So uh, I always try to add spices to the meat so that way as it's cooking it can really get in the spices. Um, so, and my heat is actually on pretty low. It's on a three, I have a gas stove. So if you're cooking on a gas stove, that's probably where you want it. You just want it to cook it on low so the meat cooks through. Okay, so now you can see um, the beef is cooked and I'll show you this pepper sauce. So now it's boiled down and fried. I'm gonna be adding um, the ground peanuts and the peanut butter.
so as you can see, I have been um, cooking all the ingredients together except for the beef uh, and the kale. So I wanted to kind of make sure that this was all blended. Um, I did add a little bit of water to this just so it's creamier. Uh, sometimes the peanut butter can make it really thick. Uh, so you want it to be kind of like this cons this consistency. Um, so now that that is done and it has been on low uh, this whole time. So now I'm gonna be scooping um, the meat into this pot with the onions. Some people choose to grill the beef in the oven for a little bit. Uh, for me, I don't necessarily really need to do that. I think it's good just like this as well. Um, And then I'm gonna be adding this kale. And as I previously stated, that was the last ingredient. You always wanna put your greens in last uh, and then let it sit on medium to low heat until the greens are soft and done. Um, and then it would be ready to eat with rice. As you can see, this is all blending really well. Uh, it, it is on low and just wanna make sure that it's still staying somewhat of like a milky consistency um, with all the ingredients in it. So I only wanna cook this probably for about five more minutes uh, on low, just make sure that that kale is done and then I will combine it with rice. All right, so I have left this cook for about five more minutes and the consistency is good just how I like it when I mix it with rice and we are done